We are your back to school authority and as we've shown you over the past several weeks, every school district is tasked with coming up with a return to education plan that suits that school community best. So what will school look like in the town of Manchester? I'm joined by Superintendent Matthew Geary to give us a look. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. So you're going with the hybrid plan like so many schools. Can you let us know, I've seen some do a week on and week off. You're doing a couple of days on and a couple of days off uh, on remote learning. Why did you choose that form? Yeah, so our hybrid is um, uh, Monday, Thursday. So uh, beginning of the alphabet, generally Monday, Thursday, uh, end of the alphabet, generally Tuesday, Friday, everyone remote on Wednesdays. And um, for us, the hybrid choice is mostly about social distancing. Um, it's about the ability to make sure we can keep kids at least six feet apart in every classroom um, in all of our buildings. So uh, we felt strongly that we wanted to be able to have contact with kids at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week, in-person kids, that is, and um, be able to have a touch point virtually in the middle of the week. And so um, we'll deep clean buildings every day, so high touch surfaces and um, um, other areas. Wednesdays we use to sort of catch up with, you know, refilling hand sanitizers and uh, windows, baseboards, light fixtures, things we don't get to Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, but we'll, we'll clean and sanitize these buildings every day. Um, and so we thought it was really important to be able to get students in uh, once at the beginning of the week and once at the end of the week, which is what Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Friday allows us to yeah. do. Yeah. And what are you hearing from parents? I know some might be choosing to stay entirely remote because that's an option. How are, what's the temperature like about people returning to school? Yeah, I think um, people are um, understandably anxious. I think we've tried to communicate um, what the health and safety plan is and as much information as transparently as possible. I think, you know, overall people, both parents and staff members, and I'm both, um, you know, are anxious to get started. And I think once we get to the first day, uh, people will be able to kind of breathe out a little bit. So I think, you know, this is such a personal choice based on individual family circumstances and um, health situations that, I think you know it's really good that we have a lot of flexibility uh, in terms of if you're a, a parent or family who has strong concerns about in person for whatever reason that you have the remote option and if you're a parent or a family member who um, you know wants to try to get your student back to school at least part of the time because that's a priority um, in terms of social interaction then we have that option and, and the, the hybrid option allows for everyone to be safe and the remote option allows for families that need really just to be remote at this time um, to do so so i think this is just such a, a unique individual choice based yeah. on really individual circumstances that um, that I think flexibility is just critical. As far as health, I know some school districts, it was reported today across the nation, are having a little bit of a tough time with making sure they have enough school nurses or how are they going to handle if a kid starts to feel sick at school. Is that an issue for you in Manchester? Yeah, I mean, so we're fortunate to have every school staff with a nurse. Our, our larger schools at the secondary level have multiple nurses. Um, so I think, you know, we're very fortunate in that respect. And I think you know, we have very clear plans around what happens if there are symptoms, what happens if there's a confirmed case. Those are all outlined in our health and wellness protocols. So I think, um, you know, for us, uh, in terms of nursing and, and um, uh, yeah. medical care, uh, we're a really talented group of school nurses, a uh, really talented nurse supervisor and um, ability to be able to be right on the on uh, where we need to be in that area. If you do get a case, does it automatically mean the school is shut down and will parents be notified immediately? Yeah, so I, I think um, if there's a confirmed case, we have a process for that uh, that involves uh, full school notification, of course, you know, keeping in confidentiality um, laws, but the school will be notified if there's a case. And then the specific cohort as part of contact tracing, um, the cohort that the student has been in or around. And, and for some students, that will be multiple cohorts. It might be their bus group yeah. and their you know, class group and potentially their after school care group. Um, you know, so if you're a student in a cohort with a student who is... Um, who has a confirmed positive test, you would get notified and the full building would be, would be notified as well. Okay. And I suspect at the very beginning of this, um, you know, district wide, because we have kids in multiple schools, we would do that as well. So I think there's, there's right. clear protocols, um, so, you know, all about confirmed cases, as you know, the symptoms of COVID are also symptoms of multiple other things. So, um, you know, the, the notification is triggered by a confirmed case yeah. um, and, you know, we'll manage symptoms that, that um, as they come up. Matthew Geary, from, superintendent from Manchester, thank you so much uh, for sharing some information with us and good luck on the first day of school. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.